would like to invite our landlord here in the FCT to give a goodwill message. I'm honored to call on the stage the Honorable Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, Mohammed Musa Bello, to give his goodwill message. Please let's give him a warm applause. If not, he won't be a very good landlord. I think we can encourage him some more. Thank you. Your Excellency, the Vice President, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Emil Sibanjo, SN, the Governor of Borno State, who is also Chairman of the Governor's Forum of the Northeast, Professor Babagana Omar Azulum, the Chairman of the, ba the Chad Basin Governor's Forum, Mr. Bakari, the Honorable Minister of Water Resources, Ainjina Suleiman Husseini Adamu, who is also the chairman of the Chad Basin Council of Ministers, the Honorable Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Zubairi Dada, the representative of the Honorable Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, the Executive Secretary of the Chad Basin Commission, Ambassador Mama Nuhu, the Country Director of the World Bank, Professor Chaudhry, Ambassadors present here and other members of the Diplomatic Corps, the Chairman of the Northeast Development Commission, retired General Paul Tarfa, Managing Director, Northeast Development Commission, Mohammed Alkali, the Director General, National Emergency Management Agency, Federal Commissioners of the National Commission for Refugees, uh, traditional and religious leaders, distinguished delegates and resource persons from the four prolac countries of Niger, Cameroon, Chad, and Nigeria, distinguished invited guests, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Federal Capital Territory Administration and the entire residents of Abuja, I'm truly delighted to welcome you all to this uh, first international forum on the development of the Lake Chad region. I wish to welcome especially the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Emil Sibanjo, and other distinguished guests, delegates, and other stakeholders who have traveled from far outside of the FCT uh, and beyond Ni Nigerian boundaries to be here today. We are very delighted to be the host city for such an important international convergence intended to, among other objectives, address the challenges of climate change and conflict, support the economic recovery and meet the needs of all the vulnerable groups such as women and children in the Lake Chad region. Lake Chad has been described as a living example of the devastation that climate change is wreaking on Africa. As statistics indicate that the lake surface area in the past 50 years had reduced drastically from the original size of about 25,000 square kilometers to less than just 10% of what it was before. Uh, that is 2,500 square kilometers, largely due to the drying up of the water. The socioeconomic impact of this has been considerable for the livelihoods and other economic activities of all the four countries around the Lake Chad area. Furthermore, the activities of insurgents has heightened insecurity, leading to internal displacement and migrations of huge sections of the population with the resultant consequences of poverty, misery, and insecurity. The need, therefore, to restore the region to its status as an important socioeconomic area in the republics of Chad, Nigeria, Cameroon, and Niger cannot be overstated. That is why we are quite pleased with the theme of the conference, which is the Chad Basin Climate Change, Security, Resilience, and Development Recovery. 
which is really quite timely and very apt. We must therefore commend the Lake Chad Basin Commission, the Lake Chad Recovery and Development Project, PROLAC, as well as the Multisectoral Crisis Recovery Project for Northeastern Nigeria, as well as the Northeast Development Commission, and of course, the host supervising ministry, Federal Ministry of Disaster Management and Social Development for their efforts in mitigating the effects of the several challenges confronting the Lake Chad region. I wish to also particularly commend the chairman of the Forum of Ministers of the Lake Chad region, who is also Nigeria's uh, Minister for Water Resources, for the laudable efforts being done to recharge the waters of the lake, starting, of course, from local interventions before we go to the massive international uh, interventions. Judging from the quality and antecedents of the resource persons earmarked for this activity here, uh, we have no doubt that this conference will meet the objectives for which it was convened. Once more, on behalf of the residents of the federal capital city of Nigeria, it's our honor to host you. Thank you very much.